I don't know why I do this to myself. I like looked at my calendar last week and I was like, I don't really have anything going on except for homework. So why don't we get a lip piercing and challenge myself to do a workout every day? Happy Monday and welcome to another vlog week. It is the first full week of December, the second video in my holiday arc series, and I'm back home, back in LA. The last vlog you saw, I was in Washington. I've been home for about a week now, but whenever I travel, I seriously get thrown off of my schedule and it takes me anywhere from a week to like a month to get regulated back in my environment and the things that I want to do and I want to combat that. I made this viral flaxseed face mask that has been going around TikTok recently and this is my like fourth day using it and I love it. Goopy. <laughs> so my goals returning to LA was to limit the amount of time that I was like rotting essentially. I heard that it's good for your hair too. So we'll just, we're just gonna put it all over today. This was super easy to make too. I just took uh, two tablespoons of flax seeds, two cups of water, boiled it for 10 minutes, let it cool, strained it through like uh, cheesecloth, and you keep it in the fridge. So the way, uh, the way I'm trying to combat my regulation or deregulation and just get back on the schedule i created a seven day hard challenge for myself you've heard of the 75 day hard that was very extreme for me so i created a seven day hard just to like get myself back in the swing of things i'm gonna go have some tea some weed and let the space mask sit oh and read a chapter of nonfiction. I started this book but never finished it, so I'm gonna try and do that. <coughs> I have no words. Hiya, I just took a shower and I also finished a chapter or a section in Unmasking Autism and I just wanted to share with y'all a quote that I read. I also started annotating this book, which it's my first time doing, but it's been pretty fun. This quote was in reference to autistic people disassociating um, or derealizing and then specifically how the online world and video games um, come into play with that. Hiding our struggles away from the world is not a productive means of gaining acceptance, and there's a difference between using the internet as a way to develop a sense of fluency and competence and retreating into it because we feel we have no other choice. This book is really good. It's called Unmasking Autism by Devin Price. I am only a little bit way through it, but I have really enjoyed it. That was the first thing I did on my seven day hard challenge. Wow. Oh, I also did my skincare so I can mark off two things now. So you might have heard of like the 75 day hard challenge, which I said just felt really, um, I don't know, it felt a lot to commit to right now. And I'd really just want something to like get myself back in the groove of my regular life. So I created the seven day hard. My things that I'm trying to do each day is a chapter of nonfiction, preferably in the morning, my skincare, a 45 minute workout, three meals and one gallon of water, and then a chapter of fiction in the evening. But anyway, I just took a shower and oh my God. Chill the fuck out, please. Something's whistling. It was my camera charger. Anyway, anyway, 
Um, today I'm doing something very exciting that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. And that is get a vertical labre piercing, which goes through your lip. I'm gonna get a lip piercing. So I'm just gonna do some like really minimal getting ready. Also something fun about this week, my kinesiology final just came out today so i have a week and a half to work on it and i don't know why i do this to myself like i have a final i made a challenge for myself and i'm going to be healing from a piercing all in like the same week but the pressure is fun honestly i like looked at my calendar last week and i was like i don't really have anything going on except for homework <laughs> So why don't we get a lip piercing and challenge myself to do a workout every day, among other things like reading and stuff. Oh, I also cut my hair yesterday. I went for more of a blunt bob as I'm growing it out. I am nervous. I just got this new battery. It's like this red and black crackle, but it's dead, but it matches. <laughs> so I wanted to show it. Thrifted purse from Washington, shirt is thrifted, pants from Adidas, Nike shoes. Thrifted chain, Moldavite, Sapphire. Let's go get pierced. Finally got my vertical libre. I've been wanting this for a few months now and I couldn't be happier. I recorded a little bit of it, but I didn't record it well because I was just focusing on getting pierced. But afterwards I was like, oh, that's it? Like that felt fine. <laughs> I do not like piercings getting them. I love having them. I'm much more um, better at getting tattoos. Like I like the pain. But piercings for me are just like, I don't know, they're a lot all at once. So sometimes it can be a lot. So I feel like I was a little bit nervous for this one just because it's on a different part of my body that I haven't gotten pierced. I am pretty heavily pierced. I have my nip knobs. I've had my tongue for years. I have my nose my, I've had my septum, I have my ears, so I wasn't scared or anything. I was just like, what is this gonna be like? Some people, you know, it's their most intense piercing. For others, it's like nothing. For me, it was like nothing. It was like a walk in a park. It was maybe like a two out of 10. Like it was like I bit my lip really bad and then I had a piercing. <laughs> But it's so cute. I went to Studio City Tattoo and Piercing and the bar is long right now, but in a couple months I can get it shortened. <sighs> I just can't stop looking at myself because it's so cute. I feel like it just ties in everything with my face. I don't know. I love it so much. I love the placement. I love my new little haircut. I'm hot. <laughs> I hate when cartridges get like oily at the top. Shit. <laughs> it's the worst. <laughs> I'm just gonna chill for a little bit. The only other thing that I had planned to do today was my 45 minute workout for the seven day hard. I think I'm just gonna take a walk on the treadmill in a little bit. So for now, I'm gonna chill because I just got pierced. Yippee, yahoo, wahoo, yippee. Love. They just have a refreshed perspective, I think. I had supporters. I think it's gonna be her. Yeah. That she's getting through. Mm hmm It makes me feel like I'm Cause he said I love you to her in her house. And I don't think he said I love you to the to the green girl, the green dress. I'm so shook. It's like two AM or some shit. <laughs> yeah. This is so long. Shock. <laughs> Look at that shock on their face. 
<laughs> what? Teresa? You said I love you to the other woman. <laughs> oh my god. I've just been hanging out watching The Golden Bachelor as a little fun entertainment. I'm having a yerba. I had some lunch and well, I just had some tater tots, but I had a bit big breakfast. I had breakfast burritos. And after I finish this, I'm gonna go work out on the treadmill for a little bit. So I'll update you when I do that. <sighs> this is so cute. It's time to clean my piercing. This is how she looks so far. Not very swollen, doesn't really hurt at all. I got my salt and my warm water. Well, now I have to stay like this for some time. I think that's pretty good. Now I just gotta do skincare. Avoiding the piercing. It's time to play Baldur's Gate. The null fight's pretty hard already. Let's do the harpies just to get some extra points because we haven't leveled up yet. Yeah. Well, you gotta go stop. Also, we should talk to Kaka and stop her from killing a child. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hold it down. Let's Come on, Teddy. Yay! It's dead. <gasps> wow. We might win. We're so good. We might live. <laughs> we might live, yeah. We might live. <laughs> I don't know if we win, but we might live. <laughs> We started a new playthrough in Baldur's Gate and did like a custom settings mode, so it's a lot harder. Also, we're having pot pie spits in our. Show it. Damn. Yeah, I mean, Mine looks like that. I'm sorry, that was my fault. <laughs> it's okay. Hello everyone! It's Monday night and I am going to check off all of the things that I have done on my 7 day heart challenge. So as a reminder, I did a non-fiction chapter this morning, I did my skincare, I did a 45 minute workout, I ate 3 meals, uh, I'll do better on the water tomorrow, and I'm gonna read a fiction chapter tonight. But to prepare for that, I'm going to make myself some tea and also take my vitamins. Of course, I would like to see the hall. First item, Reese's shapes. Wow, Reese's shapes. I didn't get to do so I'm stocking and belt. Wow. Oh my gosh.
Hey team, happy Tuesday. I am going to check off my seven day hard challenge for the things that I've done. Last night I read a chapter of fiction before bed. This morning I read a nonfiction chapter, but it was actually it was actually an article called Shifting My Unmasking from Revealing to Unearthing. It was really good. I enjoyed the read. I'll link it down below if you want to see that. I did my skincare and I also did a 45 minute workout already. The plan for today, I think, is to have a fun day. My husband started working a job, so now he actually has to leave the house occasionally, which means we only get so many days where we're both at home together. So while I want to do a few things like maybe do some laundry i just want to hang out with him and have a good time because tomorrow is going to be a big study day for me i'm going to try and get a lot of my homework done for this week so i can just focus on my final which is due next friday it's only a two-page paper and it's double spaced so I don't think it's gonna take me very long. It's a research paper about any career in kinesiology. I just have to pick one, talk about what it is, what you would need to get this career, like schooling, accreditation, license, things like that. So I'm feeling very confident, especially because I still have a 98% A and I've gotten every single quiz discussion and like my midterm with a solid a except for one quiz i missed one question and for whatever reason it was the one quiz in the entire semester that i couldn't retake i didn't have two attempts so i i don't know i was going for a perfect a this semester but whatever <laughs> My piercing is feeling pretty good today. I was able to clean it and you're not supposed to move it around, but I did shift it up for a little bit of the cleaning and then put it back down. But yeah, it's not even hurting. I think I woke up this morning, it felt a little bit tight. I'm gonna go make a protein smoothie and hang out, have some breakfast, smoke some weed. This cabinet feels like the fucking closet from Harry Potter and a sorcerer's of just, no, Chamber of Secrets with Dobby. It never closes. Burrito, <laughs> breakfast burrito, and Baldur's Gate. <laughs> We're back in the building. Do you have somewhere you want to go? Step forward as a bard to wave the thunder. Oh, just to kill you. Oh, <laughs> just to crit. <laughs> I am trying to fight the three to five sleepies right now. I laid down for a little bit and uh, yeah, I don't want to take a nap even though I very, I could take, I could, I could take a nap right now, but I don't want to. And I haven't had any caffeine today, so I probably should just have some coffee or something. But I figured that I would just push along my laundry and then change my calendar. Thank you, ma'am. We're changing it from November to December. And what's great about this calendar, I got it halfway through the year. So it started in June, 2023, and it goes until December of next year. So I'll be able to keep it. She's been wanting to like headbutt me so much, but I'm so worried that she'll just go straight for the mouth. So I've been keeping my distance. Also, it's so hard not to kiss Gunver, my husband. Every time we like see each other, we'll just like get so close and then just be like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I need to change my camera battery shit. Well, let's go off head and get on with this 
calendar. Just kidding, I can feel a headache coming along, so I'm gonna make a quick cup of coffee. I haven't found trouble in doing anything with this except for drinking water, because it hits, I think because these glasses have like bumps in them. Random fun thing that I did, I have these little like glass lantern things that I got from a thrift store like years ago and I finally started using them as a little propagation station here. I just cut off some sprouts from my pothos and they're growing along so well and I'm gonna have more pothos in my house. A little plant tour. This is my cactus, our bridge side that has grown probably like a centimeter. It was down to there. Now it's up there. It's doing so well. My or- oh! My orchid, on the other hand, um, is going through its death cycle. I'll just stick that in there, um, which scares me. This is my first time owning an orchid, and I know that I know that they die. And I tell me if this is actually dying because I don't think it is. Like it still looks. I don't know. You know, actually, while I'm doing this, my wow, ADHD going off the charts today. I need to water my plants, though. I don't know. I don't remember the last time I did that. Oh, that was a lot. Okay, I have my very full cup of coffee. I'm gonna set this down and then we're gonna water my plants and then we're gonna do my calendar. Okay, snake plant number one. Whoa, get it together. Snake plant number two. Snake plant number three. Can you tell that we like snake plants? They're very easy to have. <laughs> Hi, buddy. You're not getting water, don't worry, girl. Can't remember what this one is called, but she is thriving. We had two, one died, what can you do? Snake plant number four. My pride and joy pothos plant that I've had since Washington. She's doing so well, oh God, oh God, oh no, oh shit, hold on. Well, she's watered, I don't know why I tried to do that with one hand, but there she is, my beautiful golden pothos. And we have one more pothos in the bedroom. Drink up! Okay, now that that's done, we can actually do what the first thing I intended to do was. I usually just go through this and like montage it, but I might as well talk to you about what I'm going, what I have going on this month. So far, I just put in my YouTube schedule. So I uploaded on the first, the first episode of the holiday arc. The 15th will be the second episode and then the 29th will be the last one. This week I'm filming uh, and then I have my homework due yesterday, or not yesterday, Sunday and then next Sunday and then my final is due on the 15th. I'm gonna put in the rest of my filming days which is going to be this week but I'm actually going to solidify it between the 20th and the 26th ish because we'll be going out of town for Christmas and I want to film that trip rather than just this week so I think I'm going to start on the 19th as like a packing and I don't know if anyone else has realized this but I feel like every other video of mine this year since my new era's uh, series started has been a travel vlog and I don't know if you guys have been liking that but I have not expected myself to travel as much as I had the past year to two years. I am very thankful that I can travel back home and visit my family and my in-laws so often. It is a little bit of a, you know, time consume. It is a time commitment and it does throw me off a bit, but I am very thankful that I can do that and I have the experience to travel pretty successfully now. So that'll be the filming. I'm also at this time going to add in the trip. So we will be leaving this day. Let's see, I'm gonna add in, I'm doing my seven day hard challenge this week. And to actually make it seven days, I'm gonna go until next Monday. That's kind of it. I don't really have anything else. <clears throat> Both my Cyberpunk TTRPG and our D&D streams are on a little bit of a hiatus. Normally I would put them though, 
Normally I would put them in Sunday and Thursday, and since my semester is ending on the 15th, I don't have any more homework to do, so December looks like a pretty chill month for me, to be honest. Which is why I gave myself the seven day hard challenge because I just wanted to add more into my week. On top of, I guess, having a final and traveling I guess, and filming. <laughs> when I'm filming my life and I don't have anything going on, it can make me feel boring. But I've been kind of having this revelation that it's okay to be a boring person. Like I feel like a very normal person just going about my days rather than um i don't know some influencer or like social media content personnel like i don't really know what i'm trying to say all is that i feel very normal and sometimes i feel very boring and that's my calendar for the month and i'm gonna go hang it up oh i also have to mark off the days that have already been here I added a little happy holidays and i started marking off the days with like these little bow designs it's cute. Well, I don't really know what to do now, but I think it's a perfect time to delve into cyberpunk. I'm gonna get into some cyberpunk because they just released an update that has a very exciting addition. I have been talking about this since the game came out. I was like, this has to be added. Why isn't this fucking added? It just makes perfect sense in a game that has awesome music and very normalized cybernetic implants. And that addition is an implant that lets you listen to the radio at all times. The radio in Cyberpunk is one of my favorite things. The soundtrack is so good and I love just driving around and listening to the different channels, but it always sucks when you're listening to a good song or you're like really vibing and you get out of the car and it just cuts out immediately, which makes sense because you get out of the car and the car turns off, the radio turns off, but in a game that has cybernetic implants, I was like, why is there no fucking radio implant when there's every other implant under the sun? This update is gonna take a minute. Sometimes all you need is a snack plate for lunch. If you hear heavy breathing, my husband is doing a workout. We got some tater tots, some tofurky deli slices, some cucumbers, some carrots, some cheese, guarding a little bit of hummus, ranch, and I'm gonna have some of this limeade from Trader Joe's. Oh yes, good days, good day, yeah. Tater tot with mustard. Cucumber with no mustard. Toadie thinks it's dinner time. It's not dinner time. It's 4.44. <laughs> Cuddy, no. I promise I feed my cats. She's just insane. I need to replenish my vitamins, supplements thing. And it's Tuesday. Cheers. For dinner, we're gonna have the spinach tortellini and alfredo sauce, and I think I'm gonna make some like broccoli with it too, just to get some veg in there. But honestly, I'm not hungry right now. It's only 4.50. We're a late dinner household, to be honest. Toadie, Toadie is seemingly wanting food even though she got fed at like 9 a.m. today. Toadie, you have kibble. You have snacks. You could eat the snacks. I'm not feeding you wet food because I don't want to wake up at 5 a.m. to you screaming tomorrow. She acts like I bully her. What is it, tiny face? What is it? You got a small face. I love you. Hey, y'all. I just did a little yoga stretching session. I've also been doing this like neck stretch for tech neck because everyone in the world right now looks like this. And I've been trying to think about my posture to regain back a little bit of strength in a year. So one of the stretches I've been doing, is it's pretty funny, but you take your bottom lip and you like stick it out over your top one like this. And then you look up while you do that. And then you also turn to the side and look up and then turn to the side and look up. So. Let's do it together. Also, remember to breathe. I do it for like 
five breaths each time or like 30-ish seconds. Okay, now we're gonna look up to the left and do it. Now up to that way. No more picnic. My baby wants me to load on the bowl. So we're gonna do that. Let's load a bowl of this Tropicana cherry. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Biscuit grinder. I got this in Washington when I was there last. So if you haven't seen my last video, go and watch it, the first episode of The Holiday Park. It's my least engaged with video, boo. So leave a comment and like this one, and then go leave a comment and like the other one. It's kind of funny hitting this now because I can't go like right on it. I have to go into the, from the side. Yum. And we'll make it sweet potato casserole. And baked tortellini. Oh, got a little foggy. Our little mini sweet potato casseroles before the oven and our baked tortellini before the oven. It melted some cheese on top, but we're gonna put it in the oven. Ah, Toady. You're so cute, Toady. Yeah, yeah you are. I'm so bad at recording my food. I ate all my pasta. But here's the sweet potato casserole. Wednesday. It's about 10 30. Uh, I'm sleepy this morning. I don't know if I mentioned this but I got my period like two days ago so I haven't really felt any like symptoms until today I feel like. Not even like crampy. I'm just tired but the show must go on and so must the day. The goals for today are grocery shopping going to no go yeah <laughs> brain not working grocery shopping studying working out and also putting away the laundry that i did yesterday that is all over <laughs> because our dryer doesn't like to work half the time so we end up having to hang things until they're fully dry you know because otherwise they would just keep cycling damp in the dryer so i'm just doing a very minimal look today but honestly then again like when am i not doing a minimal look i have been feeling like a very normal person lately and it's kind of nice like i just feel i don't know i just feel so regular <laughs> i don't know if that makes sense i'm not feeling that way in like a 
low self-esteem sort of way like i know i'm beautiful i'm great i'm talented i'm wonderful i'm amazing i don't know things that i'm doing are just so normal and i feel like that's like i had a moment when i was washing my face this morning where i was like am i boring like should i be filming and uploading my normal life is it boring is it fun to watch i think it's because my last video was the least engaged with and i'm not i don't want to be like interact with my content like please interact with my content like i'm not trying to beg people to do that but when you like doing something and you put it out in the world and then it's not received or acknowledged it's like well what am i even doing i'm just being me i don't know anyway <laughs> enough of that grocery store studying working out i think i'm gonna do an upper body workout today because i did a full body yesterday but my legs are feeling it more than my arms and i want to do um like a heavy leg day sometime this week what's happening with my hair so i think doing upper body oh wait no i was gonna just run on the treadmill today or not run just walk on the treadmill or take a walk or like do some dance cardio or something like that that's what i'm gonna do i like to split my workouts if i'm working three times a week working out three times a week into like leg lower body um upper body pull and upper body push one day in between each workout so for the next so for the next six days i have a perfect allotted time for that so today i'm going to do some sort of cardio uh tomorrow i think i might do legs the next day it'll be another cardio day, the next day will be either pull or push, following day another cardio day, and then the following day after that will be pull or push, whichever one I don't do. Okay, I think I'm ready to slay the day. Here's my messy room. I will now give you a outfit of the day. All of these pieces you've seen before in my last video, if you watched it. Um, I got them all thrifted in Washington. Long sleeve black top, Adidas velour sweatpants, this purse. I added the chain too when I came home, this one. And it just loops around in the back. And I think I'm gonna just wear my Nikes. But my husband got me these boots and I want to like do something so I can wear them out of the house. Please focus on them, they're so cute. They look slightly wrinkly now, but they're tight on the calf and they're a little chunky on the bottom. They're so cute. Well, I have to wait for my husband to get ready. So it'll be the perfect time to read my nonfiction chapter for the day. Still carrying on with this seven day hard challenge for myself. So I'm gonna read this section of Unmasking Autism. Yeah, we do. I'm really worried about that. Let's go. I hate yard work day, so this is going to be a silent haul. <laughs> <laughs> Resistance, my week's worth of fun drinks. These mostly come from a brand called Ocean Bomb. There's Sailor Moon uh, versions and One Piece versions. So this one is pineapple flavor, cucumber flavor, lychee flavor. This one's so good. And then moving on to the One Piece ones, this is Nami and it's mango flavored. Luffy is yogurt flavor, which at first I was like yogurt flavor, and then I tried it and I was like yogurt flavor. Sanji is tropical fruit flavor. This one is my husband, it's Soro, and it's honey lemon flavor. And then Thai teas, because they're so good. And that was the grocery haul. Protein shakes. 
I just did the dishes and now I'm gonna do some studying, some homework, and I need a fun little drink. So I am gonna play drink roulette. And I got the lychee one. I don't know who is on this. I'm not that big of a Sailor Moon fan. I haven't watched like all of the shows, but these drinks are really good. <laughs> it's also been so long since I made a little snack plate, so that's what we're gonna do. I deserve like a bigger snack plate. Okay. I'm gonna do some green tea mochi, some honey butter chips. These are so good. Also some of these like honey twists. I need some like or something. Okay, I'm just gonna have half this apple. I lied, I'm gonna have all of the apple and this rice cracker. So I got green tea mochi, honey butter chips, honey twists, apple, uh, rice cracker with seaweed, and my lychee drink. Let's go do some studying. I need to update this. I just finished the first half hour of my studying and I have to take a break now, which means I have to get up from my spot and move around so my brain doesn't come, become mush and I can study for longer. Oh, hi girls. Hey. How's it going, cutie? Aww. Hey, buddy. You guys are so snuggly, huh? <laughs> yes. Boop. Uh. I'm slightly behind on my homework this week. I finished my assignments for last week, but I didn't take notes on the PowerPoints, so I'm doing that right now i have two chapters to get through before i'm technically on this week's stuff this chapter is about careers in health and fitness i think the next one is about therapeutic exercise careers or careers in therapeutic exercises okay i'm gonna take a break for like 10 minutes and then get back to it always after a break i never want to go back but i only have a few more slides to finish and technically that's all i was supposed to do today so yeah i only have eight more slides to go. So I probably should finish this in like 20 minutes. I always put on a 30 minute visual timer. Okay, let's get to work. My wrist was hurting on that last one, but I did it. One, two, three, four, five pages of notes. I'm gonna mark off my seven day hard challenge. Also, I read a nonfiction chapter this morning. I did my skincare, a little bit of it. I'm gonna do like a face mask and like some self care tonight. I still need to do a 45 minute workout and I'll mark off the other ones later. Wow, and I finished under 15 minutes. Awesome. I'm still trying to decide if I want my workout to be just like a 45 minute walk on the treadmill or like a dance cardio thing, but I don't really feel like doing it right at this minute. So I'm gonna chill for a while and yeah, <laughs> do it whenever I want to. Hey y'all, I'm just here editing a few content videos for TikTok. I started a new account and I brought back the Cat's Kush username because my Aura of the Forest one I think is shadow banned. I'm pretty sure like last year 
last November, I stopped posting on TikTok for like three or four months. And then when I came back, I just have never been able to get the reach back that I used to have. So I started a new account and I've just been posting more on both because I just like making content and it thinks that, you know, I, it, it's what I do. Anyway, <clears throat> I'll link the new uh, account down below as well as my other one. So go and follow them and give them a like if you would like to. But I'm still chilling and I still haven't decided what I want to do for a workout, but it's fine. I'm a little tired. I need to chill for a little bit. Sorry, Cody, it's not dinner time. Toad, oh my god. I promise I feed you. Made some chili for a late lunch. Hey guys, it's some hours later. It's 6 p.m. now and I decided that I'm gonna do a dance cardio workout. And I'm gonna do this one from Pop Sugar, 30 minute dance cardio. And then I'm gonna do like 15 minutes of stretching afterwards to get my 45 minute hit. And I'm also going to be watching and catching up on Megan Hughes vlogmas i am very behind i have like three episodes to watch but she's having a baby it's so cute i'm gonna dance it up and watch vlogmas <laughs> I've only done seven minutes. <laughs> oh shit, I don't know if that was recording. I'm shaking though. I'm gonna call it quits um, for this workout. I'm gonna shower. <coughs> okay. Hey y'all, I just took an everything shower and I'm gonna do a flaxseed face mask. It's been a few days since I've done this. It's still goopy. <laughs> this is gonna feel so good because my face is still pretty hot from my workout. The first day I did this, I put it like all over my nose and I struggle with like, I don't know if they're blackheads, but just the pores in my nose are always kind of big and it's really easy to see the dirt in them. And after I did this, I swear it just like took it out of me. I think that's goopy enough. <laughs> now I'm gonna let this sit and chill. I don't really know what I'm gonna do now. I'm still waiting for my husband to get home from work. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Ooh, I actually know the perfect thing to do while I'm doing a face mask. Smoke a joint. <laughs> I feel like this is major sleepover vibes right now. Gonna light a candle also. Juzo. some dinner so let me show you what i got going on in this pot i have onions garlic and ginger that has been marinating for some time i also have some bell pepper that was already cut up with some onion that i just threw in there i used this spice mix that my mother-in-law gave me she brought it back from india and i have no idea what's in it but it smells so good and it's not focusing there we go it smells so good so i used some of that some black pepper, some red pepper, some garlic. And then we're gonna use this red curry paste. I'm gonna put like two big spoonfuls in. Then I have some carrot and potato here I'm gonna throw in. Give that a good stir. That looks like that. I also have some rice going and I'm gonna put some spinach and tofu in this as well as a broccoli bell pepper and some lime. To the pot I'm gonna add a whole can of coconut milk 
and then fill this up with water and put it in. As this is coming up to heat, I'm gonna chop up the bell pepper and the broccoli. And then I was just gonna throw the tofu in, but I kind of want to um, saute it. What am I trying to say? Pan fry it. So I'm gonna start some water to boil it. been a sec and I pretty much finished dinner. I had to upload all of the footage that I've already taken this week onto my computer because I ran out of storage on this memory card. So I just finished up the curry. I added in bell pepper, broccoli, and a whole lot of spinach. And then I fried up some tofu and we have some rice over here. And my husband just got off work and he should be home in like 10 minutes. I also tidied up a little bit because we are going to watch a movie on the projector tonight. We're going to watch X with Mia Goth. We saw Pearl in theaters, so we figured we should watch X now. Hey, Bushy. Hi. Hi, Weem. She's sleeping. You're a cutie. Yeah, you're a cutie. I also have a joint for us and our little holiday candy bowl. I still have a little bit of the joint that I started smoking earlier. Yum. Hi guys, happy Wednesday. I made these snickerdoodle cookies. Well, I made the batter over the weekend and I just decided to make them all. Mm. Anyway, today's kind of a fun day, I guess. I'm gonna try and speed run all of my tasks that I have to do because I really don't wanna do shit, but I need to because if I don't, I'll just get behind and I don't want to do that. I can do my things. So I just read a chapter of my nonfiction book, Unmasking Autism, and I'm gonna have this Thai tea and then start to do a circuit of my <laughs> tasks that I need to do. I need to do homework. I need to put away the laundry. I need to wash my bed sheets. I need to do more laundry. Um, I need to tidy just like the space a little bit and I'm gonna try and speed run it and finish everything before Gunbrayer gets home at 5.30, six ish That gives me just under five hours. It's 12.25, cool. I actually have to start now. That's the worst part. I've never put you up there on top of my washer dryer unit. I'm gonna start a load of laundry and then do my homework until the washer is done. And then I will push my laundry along, put my sheets in, put away some of my laundry for a little bit, and then do some more homework. I have the urge to rearrange this corner of my room, like switch this and this space over here so it looks cuter but I'm gonna refrain from doing that right now because I very well could do that and just not do what I need to actually do. I finished my homework with one minute to spare. It took me an hour and 23 minutes. It was all, this chapter, it was all about therapeutic exercise professions and all of that jazz. And now my hand hurts, but I'm done. 
Now I can get to this week's chapters, chapter 15 and 16. I have notes, discussions, and quiz for both, and then I can start working on my final. I might work on some more homework today because Gunmer and I have a fun day planned tomorrow and the next day, so I don't really want to work on anything. And if I finish, actually, yeah, I have to finish it today or in the next two days because everything is due on Sunday. Oh, what joy. <laughs> Luckily, I still have a week for my final, but that should be pretty easy. I'm feeling very confident about that. Anyway, let me stop yapping and get to my other task. Laundry! Whoa! I deserve a break. I don't want to put away my laundry right now. <laughs> Honestly, one thing that I've learned to allow myself is an abundance of breaks and treats because otherwise, I will not get shit done. <laughs> Mushi, are you on the heating pad? Is it nice and warm? Yeah. I won't move you, you look so cozy. I'll just sit over here. Everyone look at how cute Tuddy is. She's the cutest. I just warmed up some curry and rice that I made last night and I'm gonna eat it. I just did a workout, upper body. Let's check the gains. This is bad lighting. <laughs> I was going to film most of it, but my phone ran out of storage and I didn't. Okay, oh my God, my phone ran out of storage and I didn't bring my camera. Holy shit. But I did upper body pull because tomorrow Gunnar and I have planned to go on a hike and I want to do legs after, like the next day after. So the hike will be my workout for tomorrow. And it only took me like 30 minutes to get through my pull routine today, but I did it pretty, pretty buff. If I, if I do say so myself, it was a pretty good pump. So all I need to do tonight is shower, do a face mask, eat some dinner, hang out. <laughs> it's been a pretty successful day. Oh, and I need to do a boatload of laundry. Fuck. There's no other way. Move while there's still time. What? Friday. Today is an exciting day because my husband and I are going out on a date. Well, essentially having like a whole date day. I'm very excited. We're gonna go pick up some cartridges and some edibles, go take a hike, go get some lunch, come back home, play some video games. I just wanted to show you my little outfit of the hike. Ignore the room. This is my outfit. I'm gonna pack this bag with my hike stuff which is just my wallet my sunglasses some cough drops chapstick and my cart it's like kind of cold outside so i think i'm just gonna pop on this yeah all right tell the people what we got oh all natural bright fruit and adventurous real fruit <laughs> sour appy sour appy sativa sour appy sativa <laughs> and now we have sour tangy sativa what are these boys and mary 
Boysenberry Cebidu Cebidu <laughs> Are you really gonna post this? <laughs> That's the best part, is the mess ups. CBT, THC, boysenberry gummies, and some cardies. What'd you get? You got the sun, sunshine, sunshine OG, and I got lemonberry. Key. You wanna trade? Sure. This is my honey's battery. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> We're saving these for later. beautiful views lots of steps i really need to do some journaling i have so many little packages that i want to put in my junk journal <laughs> and this is going to be one of them <gasps> should we do two <laughs> even three <laughs> wait 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 what piece of tape on it oh, it's some tape i think we ate it there's no tape on this I could have swore. I'm sorry. <laughs> I saw the green. It was the same color. And I was like, what? Let's go get Taco Bell! We're back from the hike. Do you want another edible? <laughs> Hello vlog, happy Saturday. Ignore the look. I have been rearranging my room for the past like hour or two. Oh, my camera's about to die. One sec, there we go. Okay, anyway, I have been rearranging this area the past couple hours. I should have been doing yoga and taking a shower, but when you wanna rearrange, you just do it. So I'm gonna show you what I did. My dresser used to be on this wall and my shelf used to be over here. I hung this up, which is a piece of art that I made. I made this. It's pencil, watercolor, and color pencils. Eee! So I switched the dresser and the shelf because I started posting more content on TikTok and specifically content sitting at my desk. This is how the content looks. So basically on this wall with my dresser and my makeup stuff, it just was not a cute look. So I wanted to make this just more aesthetically pleasing and it does now. And I have some of my artwork, I put that up there. I have my whole beautiful shelf. These top two are for spiritual things. Well, pretty much this whole entire shelf is for like spiritual witchy stuff. The top two are like altars. Third one is all of my journals and my tarot journal and some more tarot books down there. And then I have a bunch of like equipment, like tools, essential oils, that sort of stuff. And then I have my sound bath, my um, butane for my torch, <laughs> and some other various little books and art stuff. I have my art place right here, and I hung up my calendar. And then my desk, of course. Oh, I also switched my pothoses because I'm hoping that in the living room, my other one gets more light and grows more. So I have this long and beautiful luscious one here, my desk, my makeup space, my dresser. I also wanted to update my seven day hard chart because it is Saturday and I have not filled out what I did for Thursday and Friday. So Thursday, I know I read an NF chapter. I did my skincare. I did a 45 minute workout. I wasn't very good 
on this day for water or meals, so I'm not gonna put that on. Actually, we're gonna put an X. And even though I didn't finish chapter, I still read until I fell asleep. Also, shout out this guy. My, my brother-in-law gave me him uh, a, a rave, and go look at the last video if you wanna see that. Okay, Friday, NF chapter. I did my skincare, I worked out, I did have three meals. I did not <laughs> do a chapter because I did edibles and passed out. <laughs> and then today is Saturday and I have two more days of my challenge. Oh, so I'm sweaty and tired because I finished this, but the plan for the day is to do some yoga because I am very sore from working out every single day and I need to do something, but I wanna do something chill. So stretching and yoga. I'm gonna take a shower. I might do some homework. I'm also going to journal because I have so much garbage <laughs> for my junk journal and I just need to put it in the journal so it's not just like garbage sitting in my room. Yeah! Okay, let's go do the stuff. I did the detox and reset 40 minute yoga practice from yoga with Adrienne and it was so good. It's time to everything shower. Well, that's nice. I can record there now with a better background. Hey guys, it's been a few hours. I took a shower, did my nails. They're very cute, very nice. And I got some snacks. Wanna do a little haul and also a taste test. Cause I got some new chips. First, I'm gonna eat this peppermint kiss. The brushed m and It's yogurt flavored. Then we're gonna try these. Never had them before. Not really giving a smell. I feel like the flavor wasn't slightly wasn't there slightly because I just ate a peppermint chocolate. Let's go play Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Before we get into Baldur's Gate, I forgot to mention that we just got our first Christmas card from the Ostroms. Megan Hughes and Finn, well, Megan Ostrom now, and Finley. Uh, if you follow her on YouTube, I've been watching her since I was in high school. And it's crazy that now I am receiving Christmas cards from her and we talk pretty regularly on Instagram. Love you, Megan. I don't think she watches my videos, but they're so cute. And baby Ostrom do May 2024. I love it, love them. They're my only Christmas cards I get. They get the fridge privilege. Love you! Time to play Baldur's Gate. I thought we were right on it. I know, there's a hole we have to jump into. I don't remember which fucking hole. I think it's off to the side. I don't think it's this main one. Oh, uh, you know there's like a little spider web on it? 
Sunday. First off, what do you think of my new background? I rearranged some things yesterday. I filmed a little bit, but I mostly filmed content for TikTok actually. Today is Sunday. I have done my homework and finished my final a week early, which means I am done with this semester a week early. I finished with an A. I'm pretty positive that I will get an A on my final which will make me officially finish with an A still. So that will be fun. But in light of the holidays, my final, and me just having some a little extra money, I decided to get myself some things and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna unbox them. Also, I'm going to talk about my seven day hard challenge, how I felt about it, where I'm at. wanted one of these okay so the seven day hard challenge i talked about it in the beginning of this video but i wanted to do it to get myself just on track for my last week of the semester after having not worked out for a couple weeks after traveling um and i didn't want to like i've been toying with the idea of doing the 75 day hard but then i just it seems so I know consistency isn't like a every single day thing. It's a like, if you miss one day, that's fine. Just pick it up the next type of thing. So maybe sometime in the future, like next year, I'll try to do the 75 hard, but this was a good start. I love her. What should we name her? I think, well, I probably should open this before I start talking. I got myself more stem toys. These are Tangles, which I have this one. It's like a textured, um, rubbery one but one of the links each one of these is a different link one of them wasn't connecting it kept falling apart so i took it off and relinked it so it's not like a full tangle and i got myself these metal ones which i think are so cool it came with a purple and a blue so what was i saying oh yeah i did pretty well on monday tuesday wednesday the first three days of the challenge i did all of my tasks which if you don't remember was a non-fiction chapter in the morning my skincare 45 minute workout focusing on three meals a day and a gallon of water and then a fiction chapter in the evening Ooh. oh i like how smooth this is i like this one. <laughs> oh, i like the purple too Thursday, I didn't do too well on my three meals. Um, and Friday evening, I didn't read my fiction chapter because I did a bunch of edibles and passed out. <laughs> but Saturday, ooh, this one's pretty too. Saturday, I did all of my tasks again which I felt really good about. But today, because I wanted to focus on my homework and I just felt very tired, my body feels like, it feels the last, what, six days of working out. So I'm making an executive decision to kind of take a rest day. Although I am going to try and get to my skincare and a fiction chapter tonight. I'm so excited about these. They look so cool. Anyway, I got these 
like assorted silver earrings. They're mostly like hoops. There's these little like rectangly ones, some thick hoops, thicker ones, roped ones, which are very cute. That one and that one. I can't wait to wear these. Big box time, which is probably what I'm most excited for. <laughs> Next thing I caught was a bonnet cap. I wanted a new one that actually like has a good elastic. So I got blue. It is reversible. Ow. Ow, oh, I got my piercing. Perfect. By the way, this is healing very well, despite me hitting it and now it kind of throbbing. It's been very clean. Um, I have had very minimal swelling. Like, I'm surprised, I don't know. But it's doing good. Seven day hard challenge. Oh, I have an update. Not really an update, more like an announcement. I got a new nail care kit with cuticle pushers and a clipper. The announcement is, on Christmas, I'm going to unprivate a majority, if not all, of my old videos again. I have gotten a lot of comments asking why I privated them, and I explained it in a previous video, so I won't get into that. But I realized that I just like, I don't know, I want people to see the content that I've made, even if I don't um, resonate with it that much. So as a gift to you all from me, I'll be unprivating a lot of my older videos. This is what I was most excited for. I'm gonna put it on. It's a giant hoodie. <laughs> It has like a big ass pocket. I'm wearing black pants so you can't really see the bottom, but it goes like past my knees. This is wonderful, it has a hood. It's so soft. <laughs> it has like actual wrist cuffs. I, oh my God, I wanna wear this on the plane when I go to, back to Washington. <laughs> Yay! I am the most happy. Well, with all that being said, today is Sunday. I'm gonna I'm gonna end this video off here. Hey guys, it's Editing Aura. This video took me way too long to edit, but I'm very happy that I finished it and I'm happy to get it up to you all. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you've watched this far, leave below a black heart emoji and give this video a like, subscribe if you're not, and I will see y'all very soon. All I'm doing today, other than this and finishing my final, yee! is streaming DD &D later tonight link in bio if you want to catch the next stream and eating good food and trying to figure out what i should name my slug <laughs> okay i'll talk to y'all sometime